Guinness and Irish whiskey. And good morning. It's so good to be back. I want something. Where's the beats? Where's the life? Where's the energy? We were it could, we were <laughs> I was consumed with the bagpipe drones. I got something here. Go Somewhere. play. Oh, it's too slow. Oh, uh, my Josh. Geez. All so right. Sorry. Well, listen. I want to get the show started because we got so much planned today. I'm going to talk very fast because I got to get out of here at ten oh ten. Ten oh ten. Yeah. Oh, really coming up here. Thank you all. Matt, are we live? Is everything going? What is going We're on? Live. We're live. We're cooking. We got producer Tori in the house. We're ready. I feel like you guys. They weren't ready. ready. They weren't ready. I they was not ready. They were like. Uh, I was saluting. Almost we're like, piping. I mean, like. No, but what I'm saying is. We're piping hot. First of all, Eric, the bagpiper, is here. Thank you very much. What was that uh, you were playing? What was that? That was a different... Was that the standard issue this pipe? Is, uh, this is the Scottish Highland bagpipe. I don't think you're on microphone. Can you grab that microphone there? This was the Scottish Highland bagpipe. It's very disrespectful so to the not, Irish. It's not Irish, right? And it's yeah. not Irish at all. Okay. I, don't, I don't know why everyone wants a Scottish bagpipe on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> but it's... <laughs> but there is... <laughs> explain that. You're not complaining, though, right? right? Okay, so here's the thing. Nobody actually knows what an Irish bagpipe is. We might find out at 11. Yes. About an hour. So we've got another performance okay. from Eric the Bagpiper coming at the break, uh, and that will be with the tradi- with the Irish bagpipe. Like, right. Is it like a bladder? Is that isn't it like a pig? It's, bl- it's effectively that. Yes. Right. Basically yeah. a bladder. But not bladder. anymore. These are these are synthetic pipe bags. Maybe right? it's well, a bag full of Guinness. No? That's might, an Irish bag. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, right now. Yeah. <laughs> now listen. Don't let me explain me. this. I usually don't use a cane, but. <laughs> I have a big announcement to make. Irish eyes are smiling. That's a song, right? Um, on Tuesday evening, I was returning from my travels. As you all know, many of you follow me on social media. I was traveling. I was in North Carolina. I was in Austin, Texas. Various activities. Various vast work obligations and it was a tremendous trip i'll talk more about that later but i come home tuesday night 11 o'clock at night i gotta tell you i was just exhausted i'm coming up the steps to my house long day of travel long day of work and travel i'm coming up with my big old suitcase i'm a traveling man i'm a traveling salesman what am i selling me my talents. I come up the steps, <laughs> and I some somehow there's a step. The step that kind of swings into where my my front door is. I got my big heavy suitcase, and I go to, to make the turn. And the, the gravity, <laughs> the gravity, the momentum of the bag, whatever it is, swings out, and my back goes. I I mean you can hear it. The neighbors could hear it. And I see stars. It was like one of those, like a Dagwood. Did that, would that happen to Dagwood in the Blondie comics? He would go, his back would go out, maybe? Somebody like that. Yeah! His back's never been in. I go, <laughs> I go out hard, and I come in, and my wife is up there. Marilyn's up there. She's welcoming me home. A great homecoming after being away for a week. I go, I got it. I got it. I got to carry you And in. I'm like, 
Yeah, and I lay down and I'm in tremendous pain. I have all night long, I can't sleep because I, I can't get into a position I'm comfortable in. I get up the next morning, folks, I could barely walk. It is a miracle that I'm here standing at the moment. I could barely walk yesterday. I go to the urgent care, I get a pain shot in my ass, right in the hole too. They put the <laughs> needle right in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, not supposed really to go. Go. Really cheap for once. That is. Get you. No, but they give me some pain oh, shot, and they give me a couple of different. Seven. Good God! <laughs> so much going on. You you have no clue. People watching at home have no clue what goes on to make this show happen. But so anyways, that's why I have my cane. But believe me, this cane is going to come in handy with you boys if you don't <laughs> smarten up. I, you're not afraid to use it. <laughs> No, that's not funny. We don't, we don't Eric, get I apologize here. for that attitude. Bigger news than that. We have a very special guest besides Eric. God bless you. You have fun? I'm having a great time. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Eric came in to sound check. Somebody, I think Matt said, do you know what's going on here? He goes, I have no idea. Just happy to be here to play. And then we said, it's amazing we can get you on this day of all days. He goes, well, most of these things... There's a, there's no parties in the morning time, so no part, no bagpipe <laughs> requests in the morning. What's going on in Ireland today? Are they celebrating St. Patty's Day? What? Don't they celebrate <laughs> it? Do they celebrate it? I don't know. I don't in St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, in, yeah, in, 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 in Ireland? Ireland? Yeah. It's an American it's invention. We all know. Oh, this. is it? Okay. Well, I, I correct you on that because mm. one of my uh, the guests I requested who is not available, a uh, good friend of the show, a sci master himself, Santa Claus John C. Riley. Um, <laughs> Would love to have been here, but he is actually in Dublin right now, taking part in the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin. And he is the president of the parade or whatever. But I got something even better, because I have an actual leprechaun in the audience, in the, in the room tonight. <laughs> What's it like being a, the coolest guy in town? <laughs> we have Jay the Leprechaun with us today. Jay, <laughs> that's cool, right? Cool. <laughs> I mean, I. To be frank, I don't know what I'm doing here right now. I'm Game's a gig, Jay. Right. Dude, do a little uh, Irish jig or whatever. Come on. Get, I don't get know it. anything about jigs. I literally <laughs> have no affiliation. Where's your pot of gold? With... Yeah, where's your, where's your fucking pot of gold? I'm huh? not a leprechaun. <laughs> you guys had me come here like this? He what? probably does pot of Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> pot of crypto. You know what I mean? I just thought it was fun and random and... Yeah, know. it's random. I have nothing to do with St. Patty's Day. No, I'm not I... Irish. No. I'm from Eastern Europe. And my great-grandparents are I'm from Russia and Poland, so... All right. <laughs> Well, you can always say no. I mean, you don't have that to was agree, an you know what I mean? I guess, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm at the point in my career where I have to be saying yes to most opportunities. Right. So, yeah, you could put me in a weird spot. I don't... <laughs> is this going to lead somewhere, you think? <laughs> Where's it going to go? I don't want to keep doing shit like this. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I don't want to keep doing shit like no. this. <laughs> I need to be able to... Showcase my actual talents. Right. You have me sitting here. You just take a look well, at what's the, going the on. Like you're like a hot. You're like a, ho ho you're like a <laughs> hobbit. Matter, but sure. Why do, do you, leprechauns usually wear shoes? Why are you not wearing shoes? <laughs> I don't. No shoes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's more of a hobbit thing. <laughs> yeah. I just. I. There's a difference. Those aren't the same guys. <sighs> you're a good. Let's let's put it this way. You're a good luck charm today here. Well, Jay right. the leprechaun is I with guess. us. So no, but, by the way, I want to thank Natasha. Legero for uh, holding down the fort last week. Everybody loved Natasha, by the way. Thank you. The, re the reviews were phenomenal. Oh, God, you wouldn't believe And I think she's going to stop but... by today because she, she said she forgot something. So she's going to oh. pop in and pick something up. Okay. So uh, as as maybe we'll ask her what she thought. But other than that, mm -hmm. it is good to be back. Uh, I'm in terrible pain. Uh, uh, and I'm just going to work through it because this show means more to me than just about anything. Um... Let's take a call, Matt, just to say hello to the great Zoom community. Yeah, let's do it. In the let's, audience. Uh, check in with Gab. Let's take who, a call. Uh, I think has some St. Patrick's cheer to bring us. Gab, Please, are we you need there? it. 
Oh, good morning, fellas. How are you? Hi, top of the morning to you. <laughs> top of the morning. I heard there was a lack of females last week. So I thought I'd chime in. Yeah, where are you calling from? And drop the accent because it's very. I'm uh, calling from. Oh, God, you wouldn't belong. It's very good. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm com I'm calling from South Philadelphia, baby. Oh, that's very oh. Irish. I was gonna say, and I for I forgot to bring it down on my wall upstairs. I have a picture, a beautiful picture of my great grandfather, who was an Irish cop in the streets of Philadelphia. Believe it or not, I don't know if I've ever told anybody that. No. Last name oh. Kelleher. So honorable. I'm German you still Irish. Here? Okay, I'm German Irish. You're part cop. That's right. Not all cops are bad. I'm Italian Irish. I'm the perfect... I know nothing about my great grandfather. He could have been a really bad guy. Right? What are the odds that my great grandfather was just a bad guy? A cap. A cap. Huh? A cap. Yes. Um, so uh, Philly, of course. A lot of Irish there. A lot of Italians. A lot of Poles. Um, I'm Irish and Italian, baby. I got oh. <laughs> Metal. Metal. So, so, so what I wanted I'm sorry, to show I, to, I just have to point. Is a little, I have to point one thing out. Poor Eric the bagpiper does not have his headphones in. We, I, oh, yeah, I he has no it. idea. So he doesn't know. There's all sorts of chatting going on yeah, here. You can, so. I'm making up the conversation in my head. Yes, it's, it's, it's nice. very interesting. <laughs> But Jay is. How do you make it out of this, uh, Jay? Lovely? Oh, yeah, no, this is lovely. I actually, you know what? I figure I'm going to make the best of this situation. I was going to ask you if you wouldn't mind adjusting your attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? Everyone in the chat, let's just start being positive. I'm so sorry for my negative attitude. Let's be happy. It's St. Patty's Day. I don't Thank care how I'm dressed. Let's yeah. have fun. All right. That's <laughs> a cool attitude. Yeah. <laughs> we like that. All right. Well, thank you for calling in. Did you have anything else you wanted to add to the conversation? Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm cooking right now. Uh, Ooh, making some an corned Irish beef. Uh, oh, perfect. An Irish stew, some corned beef in the crock pot. Hello, food fans. And we've got some Guinness <laughs> in the fridge, and I'm making some soda bread later, and uh, we're having some friends over. So uh, oh. cheers to you guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Just wanted to say love the show. I watch Vic, it every week, you. and God, you guys awesome. put a smile on my oh, face. That's really nice to hear. Thank you very much for calling in. Vic, quick quiz. Yes. Where is St. Pat's Day on my top ten holiday list? Is it <laughs> quick quiz? Uh, I don't oh. think I don't. It, on top ten, I think it's not a, not on it. I don't think it's, <laughs> I don't think it's it. ten. I've never heard you talking about it. So. Oh, I love it. Oh, you do? I love it. Oh, okay. It's heritage. It's like my heritage. Yeah. We don't get no German day. Is there no, there's no That's German true. Day. That does not exist. It's all I oh, got. It's like right. uh, Oktoberfest. You get a whole month. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there is October. Like October. That's true. Fest. There's a month, thirty days. I'm going to say, Tim, I'm going to say, you're number one. Easter. No. Easter? <laughs> <laughs> the children have this debate all the time, of course. What is their favorite uh -huh. holiday? Is Tim, you're, Christmas, you're number is one. Halloween? You're number one. Christmas. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Christmas. I could get your top five. But, maybe not in the right order. Christmas, the 4th of July, <laughs> Groundhogs, and Thanksgiving. Sure. I like Thanksgiving. That's number one. Number two, St. Patrick's Day. Whoa. Number three, Christmas. Number Wait, four, Thanksgiving number one. That's uh, St. Patrick's is not your number two. What Pat's about is number two. When birthday, have you though? ever done anything on St. Pat's? I'm partying every night leading up to that. We don't have, people don't have this day off. It should they be a should. national holiday. It should holiday. be a holiday. You shouldn't have to get I out like of bed. I like Super Bowl Sunday. I like Super the Oscars Sunday. now. Obviously, of course, we have the Oscars coming up right. next week. There at the High Network, we got the ninth annual. And boy, is it, it's been a, we're, we're gearing up for that right now. It's a tremendous amount of work. Support highnetwork.tv. I can give you my top five. Quickly. Number one, Groundhogs. Really? Number two, Presidents. Number three, Veterans. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks, Doug. All right, let's do the city of the day quick. I want to get that over with. <laughs> I wish I was number one. City of the day. Boy, the show's got a taste to it. Could I have done it? Got an energy to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Loving it. People must be in heaven. <laughs> Love it. Of course. The city of the day is sponsored by my dog, Dong McLean. Dong McLean. It's National Penis Health Month. That's why McDonald's is un. <laughs> Eric, this is not good for kids. This this one. This is. Little little edgy. It here. is for kids. Okay. Don McLean. It's Anna. It's National Penis Health Month. That's why McDonald's is unleashing their newest character, Don. 
Dong McLean. McLean. Dong encourages male customers to take an STD test before ordering their meal to raise clean penis awareness. Dong will inspect and clean dirty penises all month at participating <laughs> McDonald's locations. And if you let Dong give you a prostate exam, you can get a six piece nugget pit pack for just $1 while supplies last. And every shiny penis inspected and certified by Dong gets a free McDonald's American pie. Oh, that's cute. Do you want to inspect penises? Good news, McDonald's is hiring. McDonald's is hiring Dongs. So head to any McDonald's to fill out an application. Must be 55 years or older. I don't know why that would be. Dong McLean is no relation to American Pie singer Dong. We don't need to say that. There's nothing wrong with Dongs unless your Dong is wrong, says Dong. <laughs> be, be do your, this is, I'm just reading it folks. Be do your part this National Penis Health Month by bringing your penis down to McDonald's. Make sure you tell Dong Tim sent you. Wow. I have to say, I was watching the show last week and the, the boost blast controversy was, I was tickled, that was tickling me. Boy, did I enjoy that. Gage, you're the city of the day, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Nice fan. It's gonna be, oh, oh thank you. Oh, I like that new talk. That's one of the biggest ones we've ever had. had. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be Decatur, Illinois. Nice, yeah. Soy and corn capital. Uh, Illinois down, State, but living in oh hell yeah, I know it. Living uh, living in Chicago now, but got out of that central life. Okay, so controversial. First, thank you I, for the. I fan. don't know how many times I need to go over this. The city of the day, you must be in that city. Thank you for the fan. We have well, an interesting fan on today's. Everyone's done Chicago, you know. Sweet home, Chicago. Chicago. We have a, an interesting fan up there. It's a, not a fan we're used to seeing. That's many many blades. Whoa. Whoa. We see it. No, there, you don't need to frame it. We see it. Is it warm in Chicago that you need a fan? Or are you indoors somewhere? I'm just, indoors. He, up he, the brewery he just ripped one, <laughs> so he's got to clear the air out. It's sucking the air up. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, Decatur it is. PP. We need a decanter for our, our uh, Guinness. Mm. <laughs> Tori, you having fun? I'm having a great time. People don't know Tori. Hi. Tori is the man behind the scenes of Office Hours East, starring John Glazer. John Glazer is on blast, speaking of blast. Uh, I assume, I didn't watch, I assume he did not plug Office Hours East on the Jimmy Fallon show. Nothing. Or West. Not a mention. Not one grazie. He had a lot to plug. Oh, what is he plugging anyway? Some shows he's on? Yeah. TV he, shows? He's on Law & Order tonight. Mm. What? John Glazer, New York Jonathan we call him, is on Law & Order, the real deal. Jay? Yeah, no, that's I'm happy for him. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're just you're doing leprechaun character work here on Office Hours West. Well, different, he's different. older than me. Yeah. I'm sure in a few years my career will start to. Take What's off. the last big picture you've been in or TV show? What's the last big project you would promote if you were going on the Jimmy Fallon show? What'd well, be, I've you... been in one film actually, okay. and it was um, an excellent movie. I would like to plug right now. It came out in 2017, uh -huh. starring um, Aubrey Plaza. There you go. Is everyone familiar? Yeah, I was just in a movie with her. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that was shot last year, 2020. Oh. And so, I'm sure she spoke years, about my scene with her. Didn't come up. <laughs> What's the name of that movie so you can get a plug um, in? It's called Ingrid Goes West. Okay. So, yeah. So you had that going movie. on in 2017. Correct. 18, 19, 20, 20 21, 20. 22. Um, yeah, I think usually actors are in movies every five years. So, right. yeah, we'll see what happens. There's a lot of downtime. Yeah, I've been preparing in different <laughs> reading, ways. Are you reading scripts? Are you yeah. considering roles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> we gotta beef up that IMDB page. I know. Generally. There's a, a gap in my resume, so. I wonder if this will pop up there. You can corn beef it up. Yeah. Today. Can Thank we you, get Doug. this on IMDB, Matt? Yes, definitely. Okay. Is Office Hours live on IMDb? I don't think it is. We'll get it on there. Okay. It'll be on Wikipedia. Mm. We're working on Wikipedia, too. <laughs> takes takes three months to get approved. You want to go to the hotline? Yeah, let's take a hotline. Let's take a hotline. I think now we can slow things down a little bit. Let's take it down. Uh, Mike, four, four, uh, Mike 414, you are on the air. Chitty bang bang. Chitty bang bang. 
Mike, 414, you there? Oh, hey, what's going on? Hello. We're doing a show, and you're on Whoa. now. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, oh, we can yeah. hear you. We can always oh, hear you. I was talking. Huh? Uh, I don't know why. Uh... Hey, what's going on? <laughs> We're doing a podcast. What's up with you, man? Do you see how quickly I tune out of Not this much. shit? <laughs> Not much. Get into it. I'm talking to him. We're having a great conversation. He State said your case, much. Mike. State your case for the record. Um, I, I just got tickets to see uh, DJ Doug Pound open for Tenacious D, uh, which is pretty cool. How'd you swing that? What, who um, are you bribing, Doug? Thank you for buying those tickets. What city? Uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right. <laughs> you going to get pennies thrown at you like yeah. New Hamburger? <laughs> Probably. No, no. You. that's cor congratulations to Doug. That's going to be fun. Yeah, miss you. How long are you going to be out for? A couple weeks or so? Uh, it's about a 10 day uh, stretch of east to yeah. midwest. We'll get Jay the Leprechaun in here to hold down mm -hmm. the fort for you, maybe. That'd be another. Oh, my God. Another opportunity. In uh, this out, I can. No, normal <laughs> well, it'll, you'll probably be dressed as Uncle Sam if it's over the summer. Well, I assume that show, this show will be shut down without me here. We just have to. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the lights off. And I, have to shout, I have to shout something out loudly and confidently that I believe Captain Carlin looks perhaps the best in the in the whole. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow, it's we. a good. It's actually yeah, a good and nothing. Cap and he's wearing Captain my sweatshirt and Vic's hat. So right, right. You Thanks. can't really. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the cap's working for us. you. Yeah, yeah. I got a good angle. It's a keeper. Right? Yeah, you want to wear that. Yeah. I can actually see yeah, Matt. Yeah, if you want. Thank Matt wearing that cap. I'll check my wife. I think so. See what the wife thinks. Yeah. See if she likes it. What do we think? I mean, next, sitting next to Tori, it don't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Well, Tori's not wearing green. I am. I've got oh, he's got green on his shirt. Boner. And your shirt looks like a little bit of green on there. What is yeah. that? What is, is that, that with that hat? What is that? Oh, yeah. What, you, what are you, in Rage Against the Machine? <laughs> next detective's hat. Who can pick one? No. <laughs> I'm just picking on everybody. Eric, you're next. I'm ready. Okay. It's an honor to get roasted by you. Oh, I mean, That's I'm one the king. Cool. I'm yeah, the yeah. king of the roast. I Let's mean, roast somebody on Zoom. Let me give me, Matt, give me some red fresh meat. <laughs> I won't do what you tell me. Let's talk to Kelsey. Kelsey Small. Kelsey Grammer. I won't do what you tell me. Hey. Hey. Oh yeah. God, what are you what am I, turkey dinner? Fresh but Yeah. What? Oh, you're just you're lording over me. It's just it's coming oh, into the I'm, frame I'm here. Cooking we cooking just... right now. Um so but Everyone's I had cooking. Some... He's got his phone in the pot. You know what'd be funny? Uh, <laughs> oh, he's showing us something. He's showing us something. Too. Hey, you know what'd be funny, Doug? Yeah. If we got like an overlay of two turkey legs for the bottom <laughs> part of the spoon. So it looks like we're it's like where the stuffing. Or even like lady legs, so it looks like we're coming out of the we're being, being born. born. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is my OBGYN. <laughs> he was showing us something. What, do you, what were you showing us? Kenny Loggins? Oh, I'm just cooking. I, I, I'm a food stylist. So I'm just cooking some pizzas for a oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, um, my God. But I had some classic rock super group news for you. Whoa. All right. I didn't think you were aware of. Um, have you heard Shaggy and Sting's new duet album? Shaggy? Oh, I've heard about and this. It, Sting. It, it's not, it's not brand new, right? It's been out for a while? It's been out for a while, but I never heard y'all talk about it and it's so incredibly bad oh that, well i'll stop you right there folk uh folk i'll stop right there friend <laughs> wow <laughs> a little flub yeah word salad cut that out we're gonna take two Matt, right? okay cool um we're changing the attitude on this show it's all about positivity we're not making fun of anybody oh. anybody that goes out there and takes a big it's swing at life okay. we reward them we don't sit here and mock and make fun and judge no more joking it's me yeah Mean people suck, right, Jeff? Yeah, I actually have a bumper sticker that says that in my car, so check that out. Yeah. Well, what's your license plate, man? Uh, yeah, it's a little dirty. <laughs> oh, really? What is it? Um, is it personalized? Yeah. Oh, here we go. What is it? Um, I okay. It involves the rear. Okay. Uh huh. Well, okay. Ass man sixty nine. <laughs> That's eight letters, or eight digits, but, um... How did yeah, you add that up so just fast? Just tushy. Tushy? <laughs> wow. <laughs> tushy. There was this show, I don't know if I ever told this story. You know there's like just five things you remember from your youth? 
You know, there's not like millions of things. There's like five things. Yeah, exactly. One of them for me personally. This is just me. Might not be you. There was a show on on uh, NBC after the Golden Girls called Empty Nest. Do we remember Empty Nest? Of course. And there the was, dad, yeah, dad from Jim Mulligan. Yeah. Jim Mulligan. And there was Richard. the Joe Asuzu was on there. Yeah. Remember Joe oh, Asuzu? That's right, Joe Asuzu. And Before anyways, Joe Asuzu. Joe Asuzu, he was this fast-talking, wheeling, dealing dude. And he um, wanted to get a personalized license plate. And he was into sailing, I guess, in, the, in this, this character. And so he got Sea Lover. He got Sea Lover. <laughs> right. But it was spelled C-L-O-V-E-R. Oh. And it was green. And so people just looked at him and went, Clover. <laughs> and I just thought that That's was the funniest hilarious. thing in the world. Well, how embarrassing. Huge. He's like, I don't, I don't want it to say clover. I want it to say sea lover. <laughs> of course. Um, anyways, what are we doing? What were, where were we? Where, oh, oh, do we want to talk shaggy to thing? Uh, Kelsey still? Where oh, wait, we want to, yeah, I want to hear about Shaggy. One. Oh, let's talk. To, you want to talk to another Zoomer? Where are we? What's going on? We got to check out that Stang, um, Sting Shaggy collab. Shaggy Tim, Tim checked out again. What happened? <laughs> Shaggy Sting. Yes, we've heard it. It's not. The, it's. It, it ain't no. Yes, uh, don't stand so that's close old. to me. That's old. That's old. And, and just, uh, Josh Freese, drummer of Sting, is friend of the show. So yeah. So let's respectful. just keep Sting out of it, okay? He's, he's a nice man. Can't mock Sting. No bridges. You've Vic, heard how what? are you? Vic, 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 Vic. Hello, everybody. Yeah, we I'm never did the introductions. Yeah. What's your, you know, What's yours? Hey. Hey. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> doing great. Just loving loving the Irish culture and everything here. It's cool. Yeah. You have a lot of respect for it, don't I you? I do. I mean, I think about it all the time. So, um, yeah. imagine being so dumb, you find a four-leaf clover, and it's like that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> How do you sorry, like positivity. That? I'm sorry. Right, right, right. Tim, are you cooking tonight for uh for? I can't do for anything. Your Irish I gotta culture? lie on the. Oh, that's right. As soon as this is done, I'm gonna be on the ground, lying on the my back flat. Wes, okay. is it is what's going on out there? Is is Natasha? Is Natasha oh, yes. here to return the... Oh, not quite. Natasha Legero is stopping by just to say hi. Right, let's talk... We also, by the way, have Pat Finnerty. I became very interested oh, yeah. in Pat Finnerty. He, speaking of, I mean, I take back everything I just said about judgment and making fun of bad things. This guy, <laughs> Pat, people... This guy's bigger on YouTube than anybody. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Damn, Jeffrey Tooney. He's great. That's cool. He's calling in. And he's going to call in to tell us, what is he going to do? Do we want to tease that now? He's gonna talk about well. Is he bigger music, than Poopy you know, Pie? Music that's not very good, right? Irish music that's <laughs> yeah, not good. Yeah, whatever happened to that guy? Is that a good teaser? Poopy Irish pie. music that's not very good. What could that be? Hmm. Van hmm. Morrison? Maybe. Van Morrison's a Northern Ireland Ireland type. He's a uh, he's he sides with the English, Donny, or maybe not. I could be wrong. I I might just take that back. I think I think he's he actually with the pure English. Irish. Listen. There's a lot of conflict and strife. What do you What are your thoughts on the big war, Jay? Do you think there's going to be nuclear? You think it's going to go nuclear? The Irish war or the potato? <laughs> or the, what are, we talking about? are you following the news? When was the last time you opened up CNN.com? Uh, yeah, I don't really check. Are that you a war so. guy? What are you, you more on war? Pitchfork? What are I'm you doing? Kind of like, like a peace type. I I don't know. Just yeah. check out images of waves. Google <laughs> images. It's more my speed. So you don't follow current events? Eh, try to stay out of that as yeah. much as I can. Well, Waves you don't want to. Yeah, I understand that. Waves have a current, you know. Who'd you vote for in the presidential election? You stay out of that. Yeah. No, I voted. Um, I'm just gonna. Oh, I yeah, I voted. Keep that to yourself. Yeah. How about you? <laughs> we should all go around and say who we voted for. <laughs> I actually will keep that to myself. All right. I made a last minute decision in the booth that I'm not proud of. Okay. <laughs> Got nervous there for a second. Just said, you know what? Let's just not rock the boat. Yeah, let's just keep. Let's, just, let's, let's keep not the change incumbent. ships in Something midstream. Something about keeping the incumbent in. Yeah. yeah. He's just getting started. Yeah, you know? let him give him a shot. Give him another shot, right? Anyways. I want to talk to uh, Conor McGregor's younger brother? Who's that? Mm. Con Is he a fighter? UFC fighter? UFC guy? Yeah, Conrad <clears throat> McGregor. No. So it sounds says. like a bit that's wow. destined to go like the <laughs> Hindenburg. Give him weird. the benefit of the doubt. Conrad? Hello? Hello, Conrad. Where are you calling from, eh? Ireland. Ah. And uh, your brother's a fucking fighter, eh? Yeah. The older one. How's older he brother. doing, eh? How's he doing, eh? Uh, That's Irish legs, eh? <laughs> Eric the bagpiper, are you Irish? 
I am not. However, I am half elf, which is distantly related to Leprechaun. Ooh. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Wait, collar. <laughs> I want to know about this collar. Interesting. We'll get back to that. Do you fight? That. No, no, I'm a lover. He's the fighter. Oh, you're the lover. I see. Now, what do you love? Uh, I mean, uh, I do uh, actually pornographic stuff. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, What's in, a, what, in front you, of the camera? What are some of your titles that you've started? Uh, big Boy in Ireland. <laughs> Just that? Big Boy in Ireland? <clears throat> yeah, it was a three-hour epic. I've seen that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you seen my... Uh, did Mel Gibson disturbed. direct it? Or? Mel Gibson. <laughs> Did we no, call no. you or did you call us? I don't know what this is. <laughs> I thought you called me. Huh? I'm just trying to get something huh? started here. You know? <laughs> gotta be starting laugh. something. Gotta be starting something. Gotta be starting. All right, pal. Well, good to talk to you. Good to um, chat. Good to chat. Good to chat. Thanks, eh? Conrad. <laughs> now, to make matters worse last night, I don't want to spook anybody, but... Uh, my daughter Amelia is uh, away visiting my, my mom and uh, for spring break. And so it's me and my boy and my wife. My son comes home. I'm laid out on the couch, can't move, can't get up. And my son comes home from school. He just puked at school, puked at school. So there he is. He comes home, you know, five-year-old, he's all upset. No one likes to puke. Wow. And he's lying on the couch, and we give him his iPad so he can play around a little bit on there. And about five, ten minutes into his iPad play, bah, right on the <laughs> iPad. <laughs> Just hell. It's hell being alive. It's hell being alive. It's hell being alive. It's hell. All right. He puked on the iPad? On the pad? Yeah. Is right it? on the pad. Oh. Is it, did you, is it done? No, we yeah, just wiped it up. Oh my God. I called These new for apples my wife. are puke, puke, yeah. puke proof. I called for my wife. I said, please help, because I can't even get up. Is, uh, I, feel, I hear you some want commotion an Irish there. Is, you is want an Na- Irish pun? Is uh, Natasha here? I, had, I, mean, I think she forgot it in her car and had to go back oh, to her car. Okay. Nice boy. Well, mass confusion, as always. How about an Irish pun? Irish pun, yeah, let's do it. 608, you got a pun or fun? <laughs> 608, Hello? you're on the air. Hello there. Um, yeah, I've got, a, I've got an Irish pun and then a pun that's not Irish but has the color green in it. Uh, okay, quick, let's do one and we'll give you permission to do two if we like it. Okay, I'll do the green one first. Uh, I've been unfollowing a bunch of people on Twitter because they just keep posting green, gray, and yellow, yellow squares, and I thought I'd meet a lot of exciting people on Twitter, but it turns out they were dull. Bad beats. What? I don't Wordle. get it. Wordle? Wordle. Wordle. Oh, oh Wordle. Wordle. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh now I get very it. Very good. And, all right, one more then. All right. You want the Irish one? All right. Uh, it's, a, it's a tragic tale of a shepherd and his sheep that fell off to their demise off a cliff. And, uh, no one would have heard this story except there was another shepherd boy on the next bluff who heard the cry of, Bah, no, the edge. Oh. Bah, no, the edge. Ah. I love it. Very good. Yeah. Nice right. work. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. By thank the way, you. If, you're, uh, if you're following my YouTube channel, you'll know that we've been streaming the Drop Concert double features every night. People are enjoying that. Maybe I think it's still going. Still happening? I think so. Is it happening right now? It worked last night. It worked last night. I heard there were some technical difficulties, as there may always be. <sighs> it's awesome. I saw it live. Oh, yeah. And, uh... All right, is Natasha, is Natasha here yet? Does she want to come in and say yes. hi? Does she, she want to come say in and say hi? I mean, just dropping it she off. was just here last week, so I don't know if we need her to come back, but... She should pay her respects to Tim, I would think, right? I, I would think. I don't... Ready in a minute, they're saying. <laughs> Uh, Adam is actually in Ireland. Do you all really Adam? believe this? Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hey, what's going on? Not much. How are you? Oh, hold that thought. Natasha's ready now. Wait. Oh, come on in, oh. Natasha. Let's just have <laughs> okay. her come in and say hi for a minute. We have a lot going on, but... 
Can we? Can she not know how, how to open a door? <laughs> Hello. Wait, that's not the. Hold Wait on a minute. Wait a minute. That's not. That's not. Hold on. Wait a minute. Well, that's not the right Natasha. Right the hell is this? This is some, <laughs> some kind of prank. A prank? Uh, uh, listen, I heard it was a good time to be had. Oh my God, folks, we have a different Natasha. Natasha Leon has arrived. I'm the girl. Uh, All the way you. from wherever. From New York City. All I just, you, just I drove in? in. I drove in. This is un what look yeah. at the shot they have of you. It's terrible. It's a yeah. lot of head. Pull it together. You direct, you direct. Yeah, too. You want to get the shots lined up? Honey, you I happy? trust you because you have a cane. And I trust anyone in a cane and beret. Did you hear about what happened to me? <laughs> it's a shillelagh. I was they tried to assassinate me. I was shot. Oh my last god, night. for yeah. real? <laughs> no. <laughs> tried to take my Not Chuck. Not Chuck. How are you? You know. Early. You grit? Is what? there regret happening? Uh, oh, I thought you said grit. No. <laughs> and I, well, I you thought got, was, we know you got grit. I, I assume this was a remake of True Grit. That's what you said we were doing here today? We're going to try. We're going yeah. to tee that up. But is there regret? Uh, you know, <laughs> life. Life is regret. Uh, no, I, was, I did. I threw my back out. Really? Really badly. So you're getting younger. I'm getting yeah. nothing. I'm, I, it's getting Oh, my life. God. I, I have that woman under the influence poster. Whose poster is it? What Where? woman under the influence? Oh, that's our Zoomer. That's Adam. Oh. Hello, Adam the Zoomer. Adam Hi, Adam. what great right. taste in cinema you have, sir. Hello, how are we? Adam, <laughs> what do you have to say to Natasha Leone, one of our great talents? I think one of the great I talents would... maybe of all time. Tim. <laughs> I wow, like that. this is a warm room. Yeah, yeah. I do that. You know, Thank I want to make you. you comfortable. Thank you. How, what do you have I, to I say to her? How about hello? I'm the Randy Newman hello, of acting. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> there he is up there. Is yeah, it's okay. the first thing I saw. So you just associate, associate, <laughs> whatever you see. And he's in Ireland, I'm you're saying? I'm glad you like Cassavetes. Yes, Henny, I love Cassavetes. I'm glad you do too. How old are you? I'm 22. Wow, me too, me too. <laughs> wow. Awesome. You know what I saw? You posted when you were a young, youngster. You did that yeah. thing with Jay Leno. That was oh, yeah. really funny. Gosh, you know. That was uh, edgy. I know. What did Jay say? Cocaine, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you have to see this on her Instagram. Uh, follow her on Instagram. Oh, I do. It's a lot of fun. But now you're charging for people to follow you on Instagram. I don't think yeah, that's a good they're idea. charging. Hundred dollars a head. Hundred dollars. It's that's fucked a up. Lot. These, are, these are tough times. Yeah. But I remember I used to really like it meant something doing things because people used to watch those things. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I would come there with like magic tricks yeah. and jokes and you come you come with a full yeah. bag of tricks because yeah. you want you want to shine and pop. Well, I was also like such a teenage, you know, like surrealist and and uh, yeah. pseudo intellectual. So I was like always trying to be like, I'm going to show them what weird is for yeah. teenagers. You well, know? did you love it when like Albert Brooks or those people would do those shows? Because they yeah, used to come I, with What I really Steve love Martin. is like uh, all that old Dick Cavett shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. the was, long form. I mean, we yeah. could do that if you want. This is Jay the Leprechaun. Yeah. Oh, hi, honey. That's hey. great. <laughs> Thank oh, you so Natasha. much. I'm not a leprechaun. He's yeah. not happy to be here. No? Unfortunately. What happened? I mean, yeah, this wasn't my choice. They texted me and said I should dress like this. So. Oh, I see. I see. I wish I knew. Well, I would have. Yeah. I would look good in this. Yeah. He's not Irish. Yeah. No. He's Jewish, right? You're Jewish? Yeah, exactly. Mo mostly? Jewish American. I have, um, yeah. No affiliation with Ireland whatsoever. Yeah, but you don't actually believe in God or anything, right? You're like a uh, Lenny Bruce <laughs> That's Jew. That's absurd. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Culturally, <laughs> hipster like Jewish. Bruce. Yeah. Hipster, right? It's like, there's Definitely. a lot of that. There's a lot you ever of go like. go back and listen to those old Lenny Bruce routines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's, I, 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 you know, there's a lot of that, like, sort of, oh, I've seen on Wikipedia that you do. I'm like, I don't want to speak to this. You yeah. know what I mean? This is none of my business. Yeah. I make I no choices. I you know. know. There's a clip that, well, we don't want to get into it. I don't want to, it's yeah. terrible. What are you doing out here in LA? Uh, Press? I don't remember. I came here, I flew out just for this. Just for no, this. <laughs> just for this. Uh, I'm having so much fun. Are you having fun? Oh, I'm you, always having can fun. Can I get you a glass? Because that doesn't look super pro. No, look, it's <laughs> important. Look. You want to put, uh, you get to an age uh, yeah. where you want to put green stuff in the water. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So your back doesn't come out. Uh, you can avoid hernias this way. I wish I knew what to do. I mean, I'm a, I lost a little weight. I feel good. I'm healthy. I was really on a good swing, a good... You know, I'm walking a lot. I'm yeah. getting energy. I'm getting getting in a good shape because I want to be strong and fit. Yeah, me too. Me too. And be able to conquer my dreams, be able to, to fulfill my dreams. Mm -hmm. And then something stupid like this, random. I just picked up my suitcase. Yeah. I was coming home Tuesday night, and whack out out. And I can't, yesterday I couldn't even walk. I like you with a suitcase full of anvils. That's all you <laughs> That's travel what with. Happened. <laughs> Acme Coyote. Where do we begin? Walk, walk, walk.
What a fun confusion that was. Did I, you know, we almost had him fooled, I think, but there was too much to There's do much about to Natasha delay, coming think, by. Yeah. Well, do you know Natasha Leggero? You must know. I do, I do, I She's adore her. She's a lovely person. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you, it's a risky business to share initials with somebody, and I really yeah, feel I like I made out well. That's true. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize it's Natasha L. Yeah, and I'm always excited. I'm, like, eager to get confused. I, I think she looks significantly better in a bikini, I would say, though. I, but I, I look better in I'm a not blazer. Say, I'm not going to say a I word. I look better in a blazer. You <laughs> know what I mean? We each have strengths. <laughs> Don't you think you're I mean, real attractive? Of course, you're a natural fit on our show. Of course. It's a shame I you haven't done it before. I reinvented myself. Yeah. 200 episodes we were almost wow. in. So it's my little hobby. This is great. You know Doug? Hello. Hi. How's Do you know going? Vic's work? Do you know Vic Berger? Hey, you must hey, have seen probably, him online. Probably not. Hi, how are you? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. You guys are wearing your glasses. Prescriptions yeah. we, are up we to put date. put our glasses on today. Yeah. yeah. Got our hat. Yeah. yeah. You ever cool. seen so many white men? In a lot place? of white dudes. Oh, yes, yes. You <laughs> we are get more. all white. If you need more, we have some more we can bring in. You, Matt, and you, you, you two, and not going to be disrespectful here. I'll be honest. So oh. disrespectful. <laughs> you two look like those two bullies in the Christmas story. <laughs> 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 They're like... Um, uh, these Peaky Blinder cats I saw yesterday oh, on Instagram. Yes. Yeah, I don't think that's the real show. I think it was a cat version of the oh, show. Oh, okay, uh, uh, yeah. a cat version of the show? Yeah, yeah. They had little berets on the cats, which is so wow. cute. What are those hats called again? Newsies? Newsies. You guys are a pair of newsboys. What do you call that hat, Jay? Cat. Yeah, uh, I think it was an, a, news, a news cap. Are, yeah. But no, I'm talking about your hat. Thing up there. Oh, this thing? I actually haven't it's seen so it. It's so wrinkled. Look at how poor. Look, look at what is this? <laughs> I don't know what to do with this section here. Chin, yeah. chin strap. Chin strap. There okay. it is. Oh. Right, right, probably the other way, but you know. Yeah. No, try it with the chin Life is an IQ test. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting to see that because I don't think I have a, a high IQ, and and but you see that with spatial relations on a regular basis. You saw that ahead. Yeah. You were like, you knew that was gonna happen. I, knew that was gonna happen. I, I thought it seemed a little bit like a mini puzzle. That was <laughs> the idea that it was challenging was not a great sign. I'm gonna. You say. are a puzzle. Look at me with yeah. my cane. The cane. <laughs> the cane's a keeper, I got it. I the love the cane. Yeah. I, mean, I love the cane. I like an affectation. You yeah. Know, like this is my new thing. Um, you're a puzzle master. I'm, uh, well, I don't know that I'm a master, but I do it a lot. Yeah. I spend most of my time, uh, chess, wordle, set of cordle, uh, and uh, uh, spelling the... bee and crossword. Yeah. That's mostly that? what I'm oh, doing. The thing is, yeah. What was the second wordle you mentioned? I think it's called set of cordle. It's like 10 wordles at a time. Jeez. What? So wordle is four at a time. Wow. You're doing 10? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever solve it? Oh, yeah, yeah. How many tries do you get? Uh, maybe you get 10, I don't remember the huh. number. But you know, you run out, it's high stress. I like uh, living on the edge like that. Yeah. It's a are high you, octane life. Are you Something good at Scrabble? Yeah, I'm a yeah. sick, sick person. Are yeah. you yeah. a Scrabble person wait. at all? Uh, you play Scrabble? Oh, why, oh, I'm no, just trying to get my question in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, thanks for asking. I, I, like I do. Yeah, I okay. do. She's a Scrabble okay. person. You're a Scrapple person. <laughs> I, 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 that's Pennsylvania. Not true. Nothing to be as offended with. Um, her, yeah. But you're so also so prolific. It feels like you're constantly making... Yeah, I, so I how sometimes... Do you, how do you spend... How do you use that? How do you use your time? I, 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 I often wonder... Sometimes I'm on calls and they're on speaker and we're talking about big things and I'm playing chess. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like to get them both in. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm uh, multitasking. So do you feel like you're making poor decisions because your focus isn't on the call? No, I think no. it's probably better decisions. I think sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, like you, uh, I'm culturally, you know, come from a lineage that mm. is an overthinking species. What so, are you? What is your ethnic uh, uh, deal? I'm like, you know, uh, hardcore, you know, Eastern Europe black Jews, Flatbush Brooklyn Jews. Real. So you yeah. could be related to Woody Allen, I almost think. <laughs> you know, one can pray. <laughs> you know. He's popular now. Would you yeah. call him and talk some sense into him. Yeah. You know, I played his daughter. Yeah, back in the 90s. Which one? You, you did a Woody, yeah, huh? Yeah, of course I did a Woody. I did a Pee Wee Herman, I did a Woody. Yeah. yeah. What was the movie again? There was a whole era. I was Richard, Richard Dreyfuss's daughter, then I was Alan Arkin's daughter. Wow. I was like hitting all the Jews, yeah. Wait, what's Except, Woody? Uh, everyone Says I Love You, it was called. I love that yeah. movie. Yeah. I do love that movie. Yeah, a musical. The music, the musical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Speaking of music, you want to you wanna talk music oh, so with uh A couple with things, Pat? Natasha. Yes, you, you happy? You need to... You okay? My needs are met. Great. Yeah. We're gonna put, we're, we're, we're having the guest right call now, in, and I want you to just hang and, and and engage in the conversation. This is a lot like the Dick Cavett show, where it's loose. Yeah. It's not this Bing 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 routines that have I, worked I, I'll out. I'll tell you, you know what I hate because I actually have I have terrible stage fright. I hate of uh, you know yeah too much organization. I think I find it really stressful uh, as far as like for a visitor. 
They always make such a production. It's very confusing. I know. Just well, I, lost. I, 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 just, I just want you to feel so. comfortable and happy. Have you ever seen uh, uh, Dennis Hopper come out after coming closet? back from Cannes, uh, promoting the last movie, and it's no. like a bomb, uh, and he's just yeah. a wreck, and he's like on the show just being like, yeah, oh. nobody in America likes it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a bomb, you know? I don't know what they wanted from me. Easy Rider was great, and... Oh my God! On the and Dick now Cabot they don't show? like what I have to do, and that's okay, man. And he's like with the headband. He's had like a nervous breakdown. Yeah, it's so oh. fun to watch. Oh, I didn't think I don't think I've seen that. That's on the Dick Cavett show. I want to say yes. I want to say not yes. On, do you ever go back and watch the Johnny Carson show? That's good too. Sometimes I do think I'm more uh, Cavett. I like like you know yeah. Betty Davis, Dick Cavett, oh, yeah. that whole. You ever hear when uh, Gilbert Gottfried used to do the impression of? of Groucho Marx on the Dick Cavett show? No. Oh, oh you should send me that. I will. Thank you. Um, so this is, this is who we're talking to, Pat Finnerty. Pat Finnerty is a guy who is an Irish boy from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. He's a musician. Mm -hmm. And what he's doing on YouTube is something else. Okay. He tells us why certain songs are terrible. Huh. Great. And he's got good evidence. All and so right. let's bring Pat in. And you're going to like Pat. Right. <laughs> Can we see Pat? Pat, can you uh, Remember say Pat something? Remember It's from SNL? That was a little I'm, controversial. I, the movie, yeah. the movie's no, that good, bro. No. I like it. I'm right here. There was a movie. There was a movie. Ween's in it, yeah. Can you hear me? Who's in it? Ween. Hey, Pat. Yes, thanks, Pat. Hello. Pat, Hello, Pat. Does, do, yeah. does Ween have any bad songs? <laughs> uh, I'm not... No, I'm going to say no. Because <laughs> God Means Satan sounds terrible, but it's like one of their best. So That's it's their like, first one, right? Is there an Amber yeah. Alert going on? Oh, no. oh, maybe it's me. I'll turn my phone off. <laughs> I was expecting a call, but you guys go you know, ahead. Wouldn't it be fun to, ha yeah. to, to have an experience in Natasha Leone call, a yeah. business yeah. call? <laughs> yeah. Do this. Oh, it gets but heavy. I, I like to really, uh, you, Do you know. get? Are you, sorry, Pat, Pat you know what's going Pat, on. Pat, it's about you, Natasha Pat. Natasha Leone is here. And in this time. Hey, Natasha, how's it going? Uh, you know, I'm all right, Pat. I like your hat. It really says music, uh, especially because of the Thank Beatles you. next to you. You like the Beatles. Where, where, you should more than bald. I see. It, it should just say bald on it, but... Um, <laughs> Are you bald underneath I that? have complete scores. Big time. I have a I prejudice against have a hat bald. That's... Really? Yeah. I think it's like, you know what? Uh, the technology's gotten so good. Put shit. some hair on your head. Yeah. Look, his hat says bald shit. Honestly, there's no shame by a wig. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Get, get a nice toupee. They make nice toupees. Participate. Show up for life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's, I'm it's thinking unbecoming. about it. It's unbecoming no, to see your, all that skin. You look great. You look very music. The guitar, the microphone, the Beatles. It says music. I like it. I'm not yeah. sure well, what this, we're doing, but <laughs> if we're reviewing people that look like music, you're doing a nice job. You're hitting the nail on the head. I'll put a bi next now in front of the Beatles. Huh. So it just what is that, a COVID test? <laughs> yeah, it's a COVID I test. I thought maybe it was like a plan so Pat, B. Pat, you're Irish, huh? I am, yeah, as bullshit Irish as it gets. So tell me a little bit about uh, bad Irish music. What do you have planned for us today? Well, I think we got to talk about, you know, I think we got to talk about Adam Clayton. You know, we got to talk Ooh. about Larry Mullen Jr. What? Uh, we got to talk about Paul Houston, and we got to talk about The Edge. Oh, okay, Ooh. we're getting... This you know, is I hate you, too. Yeah. Wait, Bono's name is One Paul? of the things I hate This is most. interesting you're going on the record, is, because you might have I, to run into Bono. I've run into him before, <laughs> uh, and I'm I'm not scared, and I'm not impressed. It's just not my bag. You know my joke scared. about you, too. No, I don't tell You know me. why it's called you, too? No. It stands for the untalented, too. That's that's oh, Adam no. Clayton and the drummer or whatever. Yeah. It's all about Bono and the edge. But, like, mean? by the way, like, it's not like I'm like, I understand why people like it or whatever, like, mysterious <laughs> ways or something. I get it. I, but, like, there are other bands, sure. you know what I mean? And they are better is yeah. the thing. I just don't understand why they get so much shine. They hit at a certain time. But, Pat, tell us why we should be talking about you, too. Controversial? Well, I mean, first let's talk about the LI three of Aerosmith, where I think that the the on the the U two, the Adam Clayton, Larry Mullen Jr. kind of take it from Brad Whitford, Tom Hamilton, and Joey Kramer of Aerosmith. They refer to themselves as the LI three, the least interesting three of Aerosmith. <laughs> that's <laughs> funny. That's, yes, that's what that's what they call themselves. Uh, um, hate Aerosmith. But yeah, yeah. Well, take it easy. Okay. <laughs> so you know, it's a, Not a big fan of punk. Let's, yeah, the show some respect. With loving an elevator in it. Aerosmith is like a, a summer camp, like a sleepaway band. You yeah. know what I mean? And at the end of the summer, you're like, bummer that we have to listen to this. But somehow that they turned into that the, the, that overproduced uh, ballads of like the Armageddon movie, that, you yeah. know, like all that stuff. Anyways, focus on YouTube, please. Yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day. I'll show some respect. 
Um, well, there's a couple of songs that I, I, I wanted to let you know that I might be the only person that I've actually listened to the album that they put on our phones and it's still on your phone. Ah, mm. fuck like, do, do you remember that? Like they actually, how can we forget they, that it's, had, yeah, it's weird the, it had Adam, is it Adam Clayton or Larry Mullen on the cover? Uh, I forget who's on the cover. I know it's called Songs of Innocence. The drummer oh. is on the. Oh. Co- <laughs> it is the drummer, and he's almost like down on like. Drummer someone's... is. Look at the cover. That's Bring Mullins. the cover up. The, co- drummer's the drummer is the drummer is shirtless. Yeah. With his yeah. son, yeah. hugging. Oh. It's very nice. Yeah. It's it, if you don't know it's his Ooh. son, it looks but like, like a, it looks like one of those weird polar, '90s right? Calvin Klein it, ads. The balls to say it's a gift. I'm gonna put this on your fucking phone. Is the essence of why this is oh, a piece shit. of shit. Oh, thing. it's not even just a regular whoa, hug. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. I misrepresented whoa, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wait, that's I it? thought you meant like a little kid. Like right, it's a, me too. a cute huggy '70s photo. I I have a sexual relationship with my son, and he's an adult. Okay. So that's that's a hearsay and slander. I apologize. I take As a girl, you guys might not know this, but what's funny a about it? Uh, a tattoo the like that. The shades are on. Look out. You know <laughs> that when you see a tattoo like that, your mind says, "I don't want to hook up with this guy." You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What a loser, right? Is it a sunshine? And what then is it? all of a sudden, you know what I mean? It's late at night. They're in your house, and you're like, "Uh, oh, I guess I'm this guy." <laughs> yeah. That's what it's like being a girl. <laughs> I guess I'm with this ca- this cat. Yeah, now. you're like I guess I'm Sunshine Shoulder Man. You know so, what I mean? Pat, find out if that's Adam Clayton or Larry Mullen. That's it's Mullins. Larry Mullen. It's Larry Mullen. Larry Mullen Junior. Junior. Don't be we dis- all smirch and Larry Mullen. The <laughs> all, he's Larry think Mullen's da. Right. I mean, Tim, think about that. All of the things that we don't know in this world. I we've respected the Junior the, of Larry Mullen. It's- like everybody knows. <laughs> all right. I think Larry Mullen should have his day, like the the father. Yeah, you know? father's you're going dead. down on the third. In that I like picture? this. I like this vision of Larry Mullen Senior sitting at a pub, you know, and be like, "That's me. That's me son." Yeah, with and his son. Is, yeah. <laughs> and that's no, how we are. And yeah. there's a there's a whole some Trishka. Of, is that, guy, uh, is that kid on the cover, Larry Mullen the third? Yeah. Why isn't there Larry like Mullen the third? The old dad with you know some weird and like a little beer belly, a Guinness belly, <laughs> hugging and hugging and hugging, <laughs> yeah, like and they're nesting, all blowing each other like little nesting. nesting Plate, the yeah. nesting Mullen. Oh, I'd like to see that. All right, so let's talk about the songs on this record. They're not as good as the cover. Well, <laughs> I've only made it to song number four, but I have three contenders for worst U2. Like, if I was going to do a video about, like, you know, what U2 song stinks, um, and and the first one would be Elevation. I don't know, Natasha. The no, shades I are on. What do you got on that one? I like the 13th um, floor elevators. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm oh, shady. Yeah. That's a hit fan. Yeah. All right, go. here we go. Yeah, let's you know, do it. Texas. Um, but, you know, it's 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 kind of mm. like, it makes me think of, do you know Elevation, Tim? Have you heard it, Vic? Anybody, Doug? Can you I'm give us a few seconds of it? Yeah, I can give you. I feel like okay. I've heard that. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, kill it. <laughs> That's an F. Um, <laughs> Who made the video? Like, why do they get the budget for that video? Uh, All those extras, <laughs> mm-hmm. the taxi shots. I mean, fuck that. It was a part of uh, it was part of uh, Tomb Raider, I think. But it, <laughs> I listened to it. You know, I've always I've always thought it was terrible. But the uh, it's basically Chumbawamba. It's Tub Thump. I get knocked down. Which made me think, what's my relationship with Tub Thumping? And now I think it's pretty good, oh. you know, because it makes tub thumping like, you know, exciting. In that's a way. got, that's got, uh, I get knocked down, I get right. up again. Which is a great song. I, it just occurred to me, is it St. Patrick's Day and that's what's going on? <laughs> it, was, it was the leprechaun in the hills that did, it's March, isn't it? Wow. Oh, so it wasn't this guy next to no, this leprechaun. I thought this was just like Jay, a charming have you ever seen a more absurd outfit. situation than <laughs> no, this? No, this is ridiculous. I, it's I, St. Patty's Day. No, no, awesome. no, it's this guy that, that tipped me off. Old Leppy. Oh, and you too. <laughs> now she's come. Good wow. morning. I see what's good morning, happening. Natasha. Thanks and for joining good day us. to you. I'm yes. here. I'm in the room. Keep going, please. Thank you. All right, elevation. We yes. give an F. I'm allmusic.com, and it is an F. Yeah, there's like a mole in the song. It's digging in a hole. He's it's he says that five times. What so does he say? I mean, there's I problems. 
a mole, mole a digging in a hole. He oh, wants to elevate. He wants to go so high right. uh, that he could touch the sky. Yeah, this, but he's a mole <laughs> that's digging in a hole. There's there's problems. There's like, so many that's words one. That rhyme with hole. The elegance of like fixing a hole, which is so you know great as an ex junkie. I mean, what a terrific. Yeah. It's a really profound, beautiful, and it's you know winky, hidden. Winky. This this lyric is a mess. No. That's all I'm gonna say. He's no Paul McCartney. This mono. What, <laughs> Natasha, baby? you're fantastic. Will you be in one of my What Makes This Song Stink videos? <laughs> Excuse me. Like, don't be coaching my <laughs> guests, Cat. I'm a hide it only, baby. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, thank you. But, I appreciate can you it. Can you believe this guy? Listen, this yeah. is life. I mean, he, takes a, he took a shot. He's a Philly yeah, guy. Yeah, I, I like that. it. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm you blew it! I'm, I'm this must be what it's like to be Natasha Leggero yeah. all day. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Tim, I also Tim, I also got to let you know, uh, you you got the right guess today because I had a famous L four herniation. My really? I, I was on tour with the herniated famous. disc L four, L four. I don't think it, I have any like, disc issues. I think it's a muscle tear. It's a muscle pull. Listen, uh, there's nothing the, you can do. There's nothing. But who's, who's a big chiropractor person? Do you do a chiropractor? I do have a great guy, Andre. He's really? like six nine. He'll come in. He'll, six nine. Yeah, he'll say shit straight. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I, Tim, Doug and I gave you like some nice little yoga moves that you can do that'll fix it. You didn't even try them out. You can do a single moves. pose. I mean, if you did that, it'll watch it solve it. Like you can throw that cane away after this. I'm not throwing this cane out. Oh, you away. just want that. Cane. Yeah. You want to that. You want to stay crippled. Calm down. We're gonna see him like these guys get they get real chatty. We don't get chatty. We barely can get a word in edgewise, no pun intended. I know. <laughs> Pat, what's oh, the second God. song on your list uh, of bad YouTube? Next Are they all okay, on this so the album? First, no, the no elevations on all that you can't leave behind. Two thousand one. Uh, I like that so, name. Oh, it's so old. Chub, tub, yeah, tub thumping was nineteen ninety seven. So we had four years of thumping, and then we got elevation, <laughs> and then three years after that, or four. It was uh, "Songs of Innocence," which is the song that's on all of our, it's the album. It's on all of our phones still, and you could listen to the first track, which is "The Miracle of Joey Ramone." Jo Joey Ramone's in parentheses, How and it's a song right. about wow. Joey Ramone. I'm going to get into my beef with Bono. Uh, it just is well done, Matt. You're not listening. The, to the shades are off. The, sh Natasha the shades are off. Is setting the setting the pace for the show. Okay, <laughs> I just Go I ahead. just want to say that what I find challenging about some people in life is that like. They're they're calling on these sort of like cool guy references like Joey Ramone. Yeah. I'm Bono. I love Joey Ramone. I right. love Lou Reed. And then it makes it awkward for everyone. Yes. Like, what about the rest of us? You know right. what I mean? So now, where does that leave? Where does that leave us? I think we have to acknowledge a couple things. I think we have to acknowledge that hey, listen, Bono seems to be doing generally some good things in the world. Oh, uh, great! Right. I'm I'm happy about happy that. Happy for him. Yes, he I does do seem think, like that. I do think he started to look like Robin Williams at some point in his life. It's very awkward for me. <laughs> the older he got, I'm, I'm sure he is a good person. It just it doesn't. I don't think I really like that game of like yeah. you're a good person, therefore you don't need to make good music. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I don't think yeah, that's yeah, for sure. Hundred percent. Just why not? You don't get any free passes because you're a good person. Anyway, it's I'm, just, I'm Lou Reed is a, is, a, is a terrible person. Bad person, person, good music. But Bono yeah. seems like he's writing songs to sell out stadiums, which I think he is, right? It's like, it, that's the, the well, reason the, why he's it, making it, right? there's something, I mean, there's no, nothing wrong with that. No, it's, I mean, I guess. I okay. mean, if you're, the, you know that book that David Byrne wrote, which is oh, yeah. called like, Ah, about music yeah, or something. The sound of music. Sound of music. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote the original. <laughs> but he was it, the theor, thesis of that is that songs are written with the space that it will be played in mind. Interesting. And so you hear this throughout history, where you have All like right. the monks writing music that's playing in the cathedrals, and then when stadiums come, yeah. you have bands that are writing like stadium sounding music because it sounds good there. I mean, philosophically, it poses bigger questions, which is, yes, mm. if uh, people are experiencing some sort of connection and they like yeah. the sound, then I guess that is valid in its own way. I mean, certainly their opinion is no more or less than anyone else's. However, what if it was a world where there were just more good things so that the taste didn't become so bad? Right. Yeah. Imagine you know? if that money was split up to like actual artists. All right. Well, hey, not hey, actual hey, artists. When the I'm chain sorry. smokers make you know, it, it is hard to get in a word in it. It's hard to get I'm back off. I'm, I'm, I'm relaxing now. <laughs> I can play a game of chess. You know what I mean? We are past our hour mark, so we do. Can you stick around and we could do a. Are you are you good? Are you are you? You must be a busy guy. I want to hear more about you. Too, I do too. To be but with you. I do. No, I'm too. I'm in Philadelphia. <laughs> I'm in Philadelphia, Tim. I'm, I'm I'll be here. Okay. <laughs> like I, I stayed in Pennsylvania. Yeah. You know. Don't 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 tell me what it is. Yeah. But what's your favorite 
Do you have a favorite U2 song? Yes or no? Uh, yeah, I mean, okay, okay. I like a lot okay. of U2. Unlike, okay. you know, N- sorry, Natasha, but I do. Okay. I, I think that they have good songs. I listen, I listen to one of those albums in like seventh grade. I remember it was like, oh, this thing. I like thing. the Joshua Tree. Like, Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree. Was was the Christian. Christian. You have anything bad to say about Joshua Tree, any song on Joshua Tree that you can criticize? Oh. Ooh. Well, Red, uh, Hill, Red, Hill, Red Hill Town or whatever is kind of a bummer. Maybe. Yeah, that is kind of a bummer. Let's go back to Red Hill Town. But I mean, think about if if you think about song, you know, the miracle of Joey Ramone, we'll the Red Hill Mining let's Town. Do, you're let's doing do all right. Miracle you jo- know? Joey Ramone, quick rundown breakdown. That's a song. Then we're gonna have another performance know. from uh, Eric the Bagpiper, not Eric Wareheim, mm. Eric the Bagpiper, who, and then we'll be back with the second half of the show. So quickly, okay, let's give you a little Joey Ramone here. Yeah, just it's it's kind of what Natasha was saying, like. Whoa. No. So now, that's so, about yeah. Joey Ramone. That's, that's yeah. yeah. So like what you were saying, Natasha Ramone, like like you can't just say a name, but it have it sound like a Dodge Durango commercial, you know? <laughs> like, it's, when I because it has those like oh, 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 oh like those bullshit O's, and then it's just like all I hear is just like you know, live, you're awesome, you know, <laughs> Durango over it, and then like what's that shit about Joey Ramone? You know what I mean? Like, it, what is it? What's at the core of it? Why is he singing about Joey Ramone? He's just saying, like, it, when I first heard the Ramones, man, like, it opened my eyes. But then I'm like, well, write a song that sounds as good as the Ramones. Well, you it's know? tricky because like, you can't do a Ramones pastiche on a song about Joey Ramone. <laughs> and then sound like Ramones. That might be weird. Yeah. Mm, but right. Said, hey but it. Oh, <laughs> All right. But wouldn't you want the subject of the song, like if Joey Ramone was still around, to hear that song and be like, "Yeah, like, uh, like." Yeah. Can you imagine you Joey Ramone that. listening to that? <laughs> it's funny to think of him going to Joey Ramone's house and yeah. like Joey being like, "Yeah, let's like listen to it yeah, or whatever," yeah. and then it's that. that comes on and he's just like, "I don't know what to do." Yeah. Now. yeah. You know. I like the edge is like I got a, an idea for a song. Kind of goes. <laughs> and I go, it could be a song. Bono's like, yeah, I'll start singing about Joey Ramone. In the video, was he going like this with the guitar? I don't remember the Ramones being big on Speaking of hats, The Edge is always wearing one of those little skull caps. He's really, he started that whole scene. Yeah, but he also has like one of those paint ons. Yeah, you know what he's I mean? got the paint on go. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever see that documentary on him? On him and uh, him, the, they may get loud. Yeah, I could, I could, but I he was like the, the most boring one because he's just like playing. He's, he's like, like, well, he's like, like listen. Look, yeah. He's like, look, this pedal I have. Yeah. It makes it, it does all the work. And, and he's like, here's without the pedal. She's like, yeah. All right. Jimmy. I would like to bring back. Now this is exciting because our Eric the bagpiper at the beginning of the show was playing a Scottish bagpipe, which is obviously disrespectful to the Irish. Right. But now for the, uh, we're going to have him perform a song with the Irish bagpipe. So let's welcome him, and he's going to take my spot, or he's going to take Jay's spot. Jay. He has to sit, right? Um, yeah. Oh Jay, yeah. Can you get on all fours, Jay? And you can stand next to him. Vic or Tim? A strong show. look. Vic or this Tim? Is... What's your favorite band that <sighs> where the guitars sound question like? Question time is over. He's taking it a moment to <laughs> set up. I have over. a good uh, uh, big country. <laughs> Exactly. There we go. That's right. All right, and we'll be back in about five minutes. We'll, we'll be back after, show. This, after, the, uh, after the song. After the song. Yeah. So Natasha, but hang out. No one's gonna hear him. Clear. No one's gonna hear him. Can we make sure we can see his pipes? They've got it. They've got it. Fair enough. I think. Oh, actually, they don't go. Yeah, let's see those Should pipes. Well, into it. <laughs>
start with Oh Danny Boy. I'm sure everyone recognizes oh, yes. the popular Irish anthem. I don't know if you guys want another one. Yeah. All right, one more. This is uh, this is not technically Irish, but this is one of the most popularly requested tunes on the Irish bagpipe, and I'm sure you recognize it. So I won't even tell you what it is. Piper, we're back. Well, we're still—we never left. 